So have you ever been in your workshop and you've forgotten to open a blast gate or turn the dust extractor on? You only need to turn the table saw on for a couple of seconds, but then do you really want to walk all the way across the workshop, open up that blast gate, turn the dust extractor on? Then you have to go through that process when you move on to the next station. This is the problem that IVAC came across and this is the solution that they've created. <laughs> The IVAC automated dust control system is made up of four very simple components. You have the controller, the automated blast gates, the tool plus, and the remote. When you install the IVAC system into your workshop, you'll have a completely automated system that follows you around to all the different workstations that you're working on at the time. Even if you have two or three people working in the workshop at one time, it's smart enough to be able to open and close the blast gates as you need them, when you need them, without you having to think about it ever again. Dust control will become something that you don't even have to think about. With the IVAC system, you can set the system and then forget about it, and the IVAC will do all the work for you. So how does the system work in practice? What we've done here is we've created a, dis a display board that you'll see in the Melbourne store so people can come in and get an idea of how it turns on and turns off. These lights here are designed to simulate what happens when you turn a power tool on. So the way that it works is when you turn on any of your power tools, there's an electrical current that runs through the, through the cord and the tool plus picks up that electrical current. When it picks up the electrical current, it knows that the power tool's been turned on. And this is where the beauty of the system comes in. By turning on your power tool, it will open the blast gate and it will also turn on the dust extractor. Now you've got your blast gate open, you're using your power tool and you finish using your power tool. So you turn the power tool off again. You see here that the blast gate has closed and the dust extractor is now turning off. What you may have seen over here is the blast gate doing the reverse. One of the issues that you have with dust extractors is there always needs to be air flowing through the system. So the problem is if you have four blast gates and all of them are closed at the same time, there's no airflow going to your dust extractor and that can damage your dust extractor. So the IVAC is smart enough that the first blast gate that you assign in the system, when all the other blast gates are closed, will remain open to allow airflow to your dust extractor. If any of the other blast gates open up, this one will automatically close because the system is smart enough to know that there's a blast gate open and there's air flowing to your dust extractor. Now, in this particular demonstration, you'll have noticed that these open and close reasonably quickly. Normally, it's set to 50 seconds. What that means is, when you turn your power tool off, the blast gate will remain open for 50 seconds after the power tool has been turned off, allowing the whole ducting to clear out before the blast gate will close again so you don't get any clogging when you come back to turn your dust extractor back on again. So just to recap you've got the tool plus here that you hook up to your power tool cord that sends a signal to the controller then it also sends a signal to the blast gates to open or close as required when you need them to. So for instance this is what you would call line one when you turn this on the extractor turns on immediately because the blast gate is already open. When you turn this off again, closes the blast gate, realizes there's not one open, so it reopens and then it turns the dust extractor back off again. You'll see here that you've got these covers on the tool plus and also the blast gate. That's the way that you program the system to work. You've got the controller, and with the controller you can set up to four bands. In other words, you can have four controllers in your workshop at any one time. Each controller can control up to eight power tools at any one time. So if you're in a small workshop, you set, every, you set your controller to band A, you have power tool one, power tool two, three, four, five, six, all the way up to eight. But if you have more than eight, you get a second controller, and you set the second controller to B. Then you'll have B1, B2, all the way up to 8. 
then you can go to band C and band D, D1 through to 8, which means you can have up to 32 different stations in the one location with automated dust control all the way through your system. So this is ideal for you know, home workshop users, but also commercial workshops, uh, TAFEs, schools, men's sheds, um, anywhere where you've got multiple users that are going around a large workshop environment, you're not sure whether the dust extractor's turned on, you've got somebody who's too lazy to walk across the room, this solves all of those problems. All you need to worry about is turning your power tool on and the dust extraction system will follow your every move. So the brain of the system is the new IVAC Pro MSC or Magnetic Switch Controller. In the US market, they, the dust extractor normally only has direct contact switches. In other words, you plug, plug your dust extractor into the IVAC Pro, then you plug it into the wall, and then the IVAC Pro does the rest. The problem with direct contact switches is if you ever lose power to the system, when you gain power to the system again, the system will automatically turn on. In the Australian and UK markets, most dust extractors are fitted with an NVR or no volt release switch. What, then, what that means is that when you lose power to the dust extractor and power is restored to the dust extractor, the dust extractor won't turn back on, which is a great safety feature to have. Now what IVAC have done is they've developed the MSC for our markets. And what you do is you wire the IVAC Pro into a magnetic no volt release switch. Most of the dust extractors in the Australian market are fitted with mechanical no volt release switches which can't be controlled by something like the IVAC Pro. Instead what you do is you bypass your old mechanical NVR and you plug your dust extractor directly into the magnetic NVR and then the current is controlled by the, by the MSC. So what that means is when the signal from the MSC is received to turn the dust extractor on it tells the switch to activate the dust extractor and vice versa. When you want to turn the dust extractor off, the signal is sent from the MSC and it controls the current flow in this switch. The benefit of this is that when you lose power to the whole system, the MSC and the NVR switch that you see here will be completely reset, which means you need to reset the system. The dust extractor won't turn on automatically. So what this means is that you've got a system that complies with all the Australian standards and is a completely safe system to install anywhere. One of the issues that you have with industrial dust extractors is you can't turn them on and off all the time. IVAC have already thought about this. You can set the MSC to have a minimum run time for your dust extractor so it doesn't damage the motor. So if you, for instance, are doing a, a series of test cuts where you're going to be turning the machine on and off, what you can do is you can set a minimum run time of say five minutes. The dust extractor will run for at least five minutes, which means you can turn your, your table saw on, do a test cut, turn it off, adjust it, so on and so forth, and it won't damage the motor on your, on your dust extractor. Now, of course, you don't always want to turn the system on and off by using a power tool. You can automatically turn the system on and off with the remote. It's a simple case of just pressing on, Your, your system will boot up and then you can press off again. This is great if you're ever in a situation where you've got say three or four machines that you don't use frequently and you don't want to go down the path of having to install a range of different stations for those machines. You can just have that set up in one area with one hose to service that area and you can turn the system on and off remotely. The IVAC Automated Dust Control System is exclusive to TimberCon in Australia. For more information, click the link below and don't forget to subscribe and like our YouTube channel. So glad that wasn't hot. <laughs> <laughs> ah!